and now an eyewitness investigation. But once it's broken, that device is in the hands of someone who can really hurt you. Take all your identity, sell the device, and you're in big trouble. You can keep the fancy jewelry at home or carry no cash, but even if you try your best not to become a victim of a robbery or theft, you probably are carrying something valuable that criminals can turn into quick cash, your smartphone. New Orleans is no exception to the national explosion of cell phone thefts, but to make the crime pay off, the bad guys have to have buyers. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein did some undercover digging and brings us a rare glimpse into this thriving black market. Mike? Well, that's right, Todd and Natalie. Not only is the underground market for cell phones growing in New Orleans, it's operating virtually in plain sight. So with the help of a street source and a hidden camera, we set out to determine just how easy it is to turn phones into money. No questions asked. But they know one thing. This here is valuable. This is money. These NOPD major offense logs for the month of April show just how popular cell phones are with criminals. Looking at robberies alone, phones were taken at gunpoint almost every day. Mainly the people that are doing this is, you know, those street hustlers. Factor in other crimes like theft, burglary, and purse snatching, and there are, on average, dozens of phones taken each month in New Orleans. Clearly there's a black market for stolen phones. I believe so, yes. I believe so. I believe it's a big market because we get a lot of them taken in simple robberies and armed robberies, uh, auto burglaries, home burglaries. The numbers raise an obvious question. How do criminals turn these phones into cash? And as long as you got the right contact, they can move 10, 20, 30 phones for you. There's nobody to stop them. Phone repair shops are an obvious place to unload suspicious phones. iSupply in Metairie used to be a...